The path is very well marked, and after a couple of zigs you wind up on a boardwalk trail, pass some locals on a nice beach, and eventually end up at the park entrance. You used to be able to freely enter, but now it costs $10 and you have to wait for a naturalist to guide you to the water. Getting there took another 10 or 15 minutes, traversing over lava rocks and passing a pink salt flat. It's honestly a very pretty walk, but under a midday sun on the equator, we were definitely melting. Once we arrived, we had about 40 minutes to swim and explore. The water was honestly gorgeous, and even though the snorkeling masks we bought kind of sucked, you could still appreciate how amazing the location was. There wasn't a ton of fish, but the clarity of the water and amazing geology of the area was just out of this world. After our time was up, we retraced our steps back to Finch Bay, took the water taxi back to town, and went to the hotel. Janine took a little nap while I went out to take some photos, but it wasn't long until the skies opened up and I was forced to take some shelter in the one craft brewery in the Galapagos, which just happened to be across the street. Talk about fate. After I got home and dried off, we headed out to dinner, and we were back at the hotel pretty early. Follow along for day five. <laughs>